Hi, it's Lenica from Lens Crafty Life, and I've just come home from a charity shop haul. I went to the cherish ter <laughs> charity shop. <laughs> Sorry about that. Where I used to work at, which is always fun to go to because somehow people still see me as working there so i end up always helping the customers still so anyway that's really nice but i got some great finds i think and um there's a few uh, loose kind of bits and pieces like you see here and a few more that i've got but i mainly i've got a massive stack of books to journal with and um, I hadn't bought uh, any books because I already have a lot of books to, uh, to make journals with so I really need to start cracking on that but there were just so many that were absolutely gorgeous so if you're interested in those hang on in there they're on their way I'll show you <laughs> so what I got was this cup and saucer and this together which I think is so cute and this together was 50 cents and then they had one loose saucer, which was 25 cents. So I really like those. Maybe for in the kitchen. I'm more a pink kind of girl, but I do like red checks as well. Mainly for in the kitchen. And then I got this gorgeous little, um, uh, how do you call it? A creamer, I think, for 25 cents. This is Euro cents. Schönwald, Germany, it says. But I intend to use this maybe just for some little flowers. If you have a bouquet of flowers and some, sometimes they break off, then this is a lovely little vase to put them in for only 25 euro cents. Then I got this um, little box. It's a wooden box. It already has like a, a whitewash and it's only 25 euro cents. So I can alter this. So that was a pretty good price. So a euro cent again, if you're from the UK, I think 10% less. If you're from the US, um, think 10% more in dollars. So that's the trick. Then this was 50 cents for a whole bag of these really large paper clips, will, which will be great to alter. But it also has like these metal bits in here. And I've seen somebody use like, and they're very, very thin. I've seen somebody use like metal bits together with just one magnet in journals to use it as a closure. So then you don't need two magnets, but just one and pop this on the other side behind your paper, of course, so that you don't see this. And then it still works as a magnet closure. So that saves on your magnet so i thought i would try that out then i found this gorgeous well what do you call it it's like a glass it's not crystal it's like a glass bowl diamond shape it's very very pretty and i actually got one quite similar a while back with uh, an entry from shannon from morrissey's arts and crafts and this one was one euro really like that so you could I'm not sure what i'm going to use it on but you may use it as a top on an altered dress form if the dress form is large enough so that would be nice then i got this it's like um for 150 it's this really vintage tin and i absolutely love this it's so pretty it's a bit rusty but that just adds to the character now doesn't it and here on the inside but i don't mind that i can just uh, you know keep things in it non non-food items maybe in my craft room i just really like the crackle effect and a beautiful rose is on there so i think that's absolutely lovely now that's it for kind of the normal items so now we're on to the items that i can use in journal making so if you're not interested in the books or the journal making then you can switch off now <laughs> but let me just show you i got this um i think this is what you call ledger paper don't you it's like it's got these little lines on it correct me if i'm wrong but uh, i think i want a coffee or tea 
dye this and use it in journals. And here I got some, these are kind of large, um, kind of like, well, it's not really playing cards, but it's some kind of a, a game of Le Petit Prince. That's a, like literary um, book, actually, that I read when I studied uh, French when I was, uh, up till I was 18. And this game, the original price was 850, but of course that's not what I paid for it. I paid, well, you may just be able to see it, about 50 euro cents for it. There's a pencil in there, which I probably will not use, but I mainly bought these because these are kind of like cardboard playing cards. They're not really playing cards, but that's what they make me think of. They're quite large, as you can see. There's 16 in there, and I thought like two of these, when I alter them, and decorate them nicely they will be excellent to make like journal covers out of them because they're very sturdy and um, I thought that would be an excellent size as well so for 50 cents I have 16 here so that is eight covers for journals so that's not a bad deal is it and then this little book it says illustrated flora of the netherlands in dutch of course i paid 150 for it and just look at how old this paper is it's really beautiful so this is the index but then just look at these pages i really really like these there will be oh sorry about that just trying to focus here it's just these old like like hand-drawn images and there's written next to it of course this is not literally hand-drawn but it's like hand-drawn and then copied and, and made into this book so I just really really like the layout of this little book which is really pretty so that will be great to use in journals So there's just lots and lots of these pretty papers and images on there. So the whole book is like that. Plus these pages, well, I think they're bound. Or are they sewn? I think they're sewn together. So I would even be able, if I have like the middle section, <coughs> then I could use, say, two of these pages together in a journal. So that would look really nice, I think. Then this is a very pretty one, a Victorian flower album. Oh, it's even in English, didn't even notice that. But there's these beautiful, very large pages with beautiful flowers on there. And lots of them. So these are really, really stunning. So I can use them as is or cut out each individual uh, image like this cherry blossom. It's just lots and lots of gorgeous flower images. So that's very pretty. And this one was two euros. And then I got this one. It says climbing plants for 150. And again, there's lots of drawn images in there that are very pretty from all these different climbing plants. Some like this clematis with lots of beautiful flowers. And so beautiful images. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. They're very pretty. Okay, and then we got this book, and it says England is a garden. Again, an English book. Sorry for the glare there. So you can see already on the cover that uh, usually to find these books, I look for kind of like an, an old-fashioned print. 
and then usually it has like drawn flowers in there and the more modern books they don't do that somehow or not often this was 150 and it says with 47 full color illustrations so to me it's worth the um, 150 sorry I can't put my camera any higher but you can kind of see it's these beautiful flowers roses so I can make they're quite large these so I can use them even for envelopes or just in journals they're absolutely stunning love this lavender so pretty so lots of beautiful images here with the beautiful butterfly some brambles and apparently these are all from england you can see the english house style which i love love cottages so cute even this one so pretty i want to make a cottage kind of journal as well i've got some very pretty cottage cards so i could even use like these drawings in the cottage journal well that's more mention not a cottage but these are beautiful uh, i think they're probably aquarelle painting watercolor paintings so lots of them in here So on to the next, I've got loads of books, so hang on in there if you like this. This says in Dutch, uh, images from personal, from the personal and the public life of animals. And this was 150. And th this is quite a, a funny book, as you can see. There's these, uh, I was erring and erring whether I should get this or not, but I thought that they were quite funny images. Look at these ducks and birds, like with hats on, and these are all kind of like dressed up animals. So this is actually just a storybook, so I could read it, not sure if I will. And the illustrations go with the story, but I mainly, well, some are more funny than others so let me see here's some like this is a um oh, how do you call it the dragonfly and a beetle so these are more like insects but even this one with the, the snails they're quite funny i saw some like this and here it says in dutch below it don't you think she's pretty this is some kind of a bird just all dressed up so and this is it's an adder like a, a snake so it's quite funny I thought this would be quite funny to use in a specific journal somebody may like these images as well let me know if you do <laughs> if you're into this and a beautiful little kitten oh the doorbell just went just a second Hi, well, I kept being interrupted downstairs in the living room, so I moved upstairs into the attic now. It's also a couple of hours later now, after dinner. So anyway, this is the book that I was still showing you, and I just really, really like all these kind of peculiar images of birds and here also birds and other animals just dressed up as people. So... I do think they're quite nice and maybe not everybody likes these but it almost looks like Peter Rabbit <laughs> but um, I do think there is some humor to these and of course the pictures all go with the story so maybe I'll read it first but I'm not sure because it's quite a thick book so I thought these would be nice for in journals then I've got this one and this is um, uh, by all these beautiful images that are in here are painted or drawn and painted by Marjolein Bostel. She is a Dutch artist and her images are very famous, I, I think even worldwide. So this one was two euros and this is kind of like an album where people had to 
kind of collect all the images and stick them in the album themselves so all these images are kind of stuck on <clears throat> but I don't mind that because I will probably cut the images out anyway to use in albums and again you can see these are beautiful images Marjolein Bostin is very good at drawing animals like here this tiny little bird I don't know what you call these anymore um, no don't know so anyway beautiful beautiful have to be in focus there sorry about that beautiful animal images from the forest and lots of them like all these bees different kind of bumblebees very pretty so this one is about the forest forest album and i've got another one by the same artist marjolaine bastin and this is a bird album so there's lots of bird images and again all these pictures okay now i got interrupted by my camera because my camera was full the memory was full so anyway i'm still at the maria limestam bird book which i was showing you anyway gorgeous like this one again gorgeous images of all these birds which will be great to use in journals then i got this one it's like an encyclopedia of the animal kingdom is what they say now i did um and r about this but i do think i can do a lot with this this one was two euros and just look at how thick this is and i probably skip through a little bit faster so this is quite different from the other style i like the maria limestone style better it's a bit more elegant but i do think i can make like a a very nice kind of animal journal or envelopes out of all these images you know make tags out of them so ring ring tail lemurs are in there lots of pretty birds are in there so there's beautiful images but as you can see it's kind of a, quite a different painting style or decorative style and I think there were quite a few pretty like here's peacocks pretty um, uh, butterflies so let me see if I can just show you those reptiles I'm not very much into reptiles but some people are fish are in there and I think here we get on to the insects. Yeah, here are some of the insects. <coughs> and here, ladybugs. Like the bees. So they are very, very pretty pictures. Ah, here you go. That's what I mean. It's these beautiful butterfly pictures that I can use here as well these are absolutely gorgeous love these they're very pretty and even these here and these are more like moths so there's lots of these beautiful pictures so I decided in the end that there was enough in there for two euros that I thought was worthwhile the purchase so then I got a wildflower book. This says wildflowers of the world. It's all in Dutch. More than a thousand images in color by some lady called Barbara Everard. So again, it is a very thick book. This one was a bit more expensive, 350. So I really thought about this one. <laughs> <laughs> but again 350 euros is not very expensive now is it because on every single page at least one sided there are all these beautiful images so can i i can either just make envelopes out of these or even journal covers or you know cut out the flowers 
Some are more pretty than others. Here are irises. So there's just beautiful. Let me just tilt the camera down a little bit. Sorry for the shaking. So they're very colorful, very beautiful pictures. Hope I'm not going too fast and making you dizzy. But so you see, it's literally on every single page. It's a page that I can use. And this is, well, here it says 427 pages. So for, you know, 350, I thought that's good enough for me. Like, I love this. It's very pretty. These are very botanical. Oh, this is interesting. Lovely lilies. Lots and lots and lots of gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. Paradise um, flower. We call it the paradise bird flower. So I'll just have to sit and I'm just trying to skip through this quickly, but not too quick to make you dizzy but you can see there is so much so incredibly much that i can use in this book i love it it's so pretty so i really i have more books to show you hang on in there if you want to if not just switch off but um i just couldn't leave this behind and then this one it says in dutch again wild plants and as you can see already on the front this again again quite a thick book and it has lots of beautiful 150 only and this is part one and i've got all three parts it's i don't think there's any more parts but uh at least i've got the three parts that they had in the charity shop now again here yeah, you can make beautiful tags out of these it's just so pretty now this you, of course you can use these but it's mainly these pictures that i bought it for again beautiful beautiful drawings of course i can use the other pages as well but it's mainly these the flowers that i got it for okay my camera switched off again this is the seventh part <laughs> yes of this video and i will finish it i'm not giving up i will show you all my books so anyway i was about here before my camera shut off again so i deleted a lot or put a lot of um, things on my computer so hopefully now I can finally finish it so this was the first part of that beautiful book on wild plants and just a quick glance through see if there's any more pictures well I think most of the pictures are in the back but you can see there's lots to use to cut out and use so that's part one, then again part two, and they were all 150 each. So there's all these beautiful images of herbal herbal plants. There's some here. I'll just try to find a few nice ones for you to look at, like these. Oh, don't you love these? These are beautiful. These will be so nice to cut out, cut out individually. And these just loads of them so these books are definitely worth their 1 euro 50 I think just beautiful I just need to sit down and have a good look through all of them and the way I kind of cut these books up is I tend to tear all these pages that I'm gonna use I tend to tear them out and keep them all together in a file because I'm getting so many books and I'm not gonna use like pages like this I'm not gonna use these I, I just have too many so I'm gonna focus on 
these pages, tear them all out, put them in a, like a file folder and then later on I can always decide whether I want to use them like a whole page for uh, a cover for a journal or to make an envelope or something or to cut out the images individually. I do like these and this one so I'll use those but then I'll, I'll discard of all these kind of pages because I have too many books now basically but for 150 it's hard not to buy these isn't it or at least I find that am I alone in this <laughs> anyway that's part two I'll quickly show you part three it's all similar style because you know obviously it's all the same series but in every part they are obviously different flowers these are more like wild roses beautiful and here I'm kind of skipping over quite a few on some pages there's only a few Here's some blossom, like apple blossom. Let's see if there's more here. So these are all the wildflowers that grow, at least in the Netherlands. It's always nice to get to know your country a little bit more. I didn't know these <laughs> were all growing here in my own country just so pretty so you see there's lots of papers that I won't use which will make a bit more space in my craft area all the papers that I can chuck and then keep all the pretty ones okay oh these are very pretty too and then I got let me see this one which I really like. It's uh, the Dolle Entree van Automobile and Velocipé. This is like the crazy entree of the automobile, of the car, and the Velocipé. Well, Velo, it's a bike. So, and I like this guy, Leonard de Vries. He's a Dutch guy, but he kind of compiles all sorts of old and vintage images in, in, from old newspapers in books like this. So, I have a, another book by him. It's all like these crazy, look at these pictures about bikes. <laughs> Trying to sell bikes. and these, are, th these books I find quite hard to cut up. Oh, it's kind of falling apart, but I don't mind that. It's the glue that's coming loose. There's like all these drawings of these really funny funny bikes that they had like this one if, look at all the the suitcases everywhere on this bike that is so funny and these bikes really existed and here are trams i just really like all these old pictures and images here even uh, oh, now it's coming totally loose but that's okay and i'm gonna cut it up anyway here this is kind of like a it's um, a bicycle school even for ladies. Apparently they had schools to teach you how to cycle like a lady on a bike. And here, look at this tiny little picture. Isn't that great? <laughs> this one. Oh, it's just so funny. Anyway, great pictures in here. All from, as you can see, very old. Look like, look at this one. Sorry, I'm interrupting myself there. Just from old newspapers. Look like this. This is a bicycle for four people. And look at the massive, wheel, massive wheels on that. I love this. Love all these old images. And here, wouldn't you want to cycle like that? You can sit like a proper lady in between the wheels. <laughs> it's just so funny. And here you can be ridden by your husband or your friend. It's just so cool. I really like this. Then I got this little book. It's about um, like a nature and nature guide for only 50 cents. 
here it says and there's beautiful very small flowers or images of flowers with their names below it so i thought this would be great on small uh, envelopes or tags that you want to make there's some trees again some insects and some um, mushrooms which will be nice for in an autumn journal birds so that's just nice to have some squirrels and mice just to have some really small images and then I got a few cards. I really, really like this one. Just look at this. That's a gorgeous card, isn't it? I really like that. Post Museum. Oh, it's um, it's a post um, a mail carriage because it's from the mail museum. So they would have their mail on it, as well as people inside of it. And then I got this one. With the pretty birds I forget the English name of I think it's something with titch 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 something yeah it doesn't say in English <laughs> and this pretty card which I may just use this part of and then lastly last but not least I got this book and I absolutely love this book now the funny thing is I already have this book but the images that are in here are so nice that I don't want to cut it apart but it's not old enough yet for me to be allowed legally to copy from it so I'm so happy I found the exact same book again because now as you can see, I can cut one of them up. This was only 150, which I'm really happy with. I can cut one up and keep the other one all intact. So it's all these, it's like um, Groot Handwerk book. It's all like the um, needlework from grandmother's youth, like the big um, needle hand artisan craft book from grandmother's youth uh, more over a hundred crafty things uh, from from the past to make yourself and they got it from uh, ladies magazines so the bazaar the gracieuse the gracious one the women's world so those were old um, magazines that existed or were newspapers especially for women so they got all these articles out of those magazines just look at these pictures aren't they gorgeous they would be great to just you know put in a pretty frame and hang them on your wall oh i just love these don't you love these i think you can imagine why i find this book very hard to cut up and use and that i'm so happy now that i've got it twice for only 150 Look at all these gorgeous, gorgeous pictures. Ah, they are just so beautiful. Pretty like Venetian, Venetian embroidery. A pattern. Oh, look at this. Look at this bridal gown that the lady is wearing. And again, some lace. And this is really the way that you can make this. Now, I, I wouldn't be able to do that, but if you wanted to, you could. <laughs> all these images this is such a great book it's absolutely lovely this is my personal favorite book <laughs> so out of all these finds here there's even a pattern in it gorgeous stunning book this is so anyway that's the last one that i wanted to show you i'm finally gonna put all these bits of video together now into one piece and if you hang in there till the final end then thank you so so very much for watching and hope you're having a great day great evening great night whatever time of day it is with you and god bless and hope to see you again in my next fit bye bye